Welcome Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Rising to your March 2020 video. This is a little bit different because we are facing different times. So this is going to be more about a little bit of a dip into talking about you personally and explaining energies lined up with degrees and dates, talking about this new sort of surreal world we're living in. Well, unless you're in a hole somewhere, you're not aware of what's going on. Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Risings, we're going to take a look at how you think, okay? Because this is time. Metaphysicians stand up and rise, okay? Seriously. This is all about how we think, what we will allow our thoughts to be focused upon. Where will you put your energy, your thinking, your emotions, your feelings? These are energy. Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Rising. In your third house, you have Cancer. Cancer is emotions. You're very sensitive when it comes to things in terms of speaking and thinking and communicating. Your ninth house is your belief system. This is also important because this is where Capricorn is. Capricorn is where we have the big stellium, all the planets, the mega stellium of planets. Pluto and Jupiter, and we're going to talk about Mars and Jupiter. We know that Mars represents the soldier. We know that Jupiter can expand things. This is not about setting fear upon you, but this is about explaining the astrological happenings. And then when we see these in our things in our world, it's like, well, this makes sense then, doesn't it? Understand something. We are right where we're supposed to be. Each and every one of us. We were born to be present and to be here and to live and to express at this time, during this time. So now we're going to dive deep into the all astrology. Tauruses are known to appear to be stubborn, to be very fixed, to not move, right? Think of the bull in the pasture just kind of stands there. They don't move. It's like, what's going on? They just like, how do they eat? Do they sleep like that? Right? Like, what are they doing? They're not doing much. But what happens? You ever see a bull when it gets angered or when it becomes passionate about something or wants something it really wants? You ever see what a bull does? It charges. The bull runs fast. It charges for its target. Metaphysicians, you have Capricorn in your ninth house. Ninth house is your spirituality, your philosophy on life, your religion. It's what you believe your opinions. Ninth house is also long journeys. These can be by car, by airplane. These can be here. When I looked at the energy surrounding the events, which Miss A and I have done on a, on a large scale, anybody who owns the Zodiac starter pack, I'm going to let you know right now that in that Zodiac starter pack, there's a chart that came as an example. If you were to take a look at that chart, you're going to find out that that is the chart of the United States. And we did that purposely for a reason. We knew there would be a day because astrologically, the planet Pluto is in the United States, second house. And the United States has a Pluto return, which means Pluto conjunct Pluto. Pluto rips shit out by the root, throws it out and says, we're rebuilding from the ground up. Now, this is not to send alarm your way. This is for you to understand what's going on, the big picture of what's going on. Pluto and the planet Jupiter, they're going to be conjunct this month on the 20th of March. Now, understand that Pluto is deeply transformational change, and Jupiter expands things, okay? We feel like we're doing that right now. And in a matter of a few days, educators have had to scramble. Not all educators were online and knew how to do online. Matter of fact, I know quite a few of them who were scrambling, literally. Matter of fact, I just saw a post from somebody on, on Facebook where they were like, I just spent the last 14 hours learning how to do online. 
because they've been, you know, a face-to-face class, brick and mortar. So we've, we've got people who are all of a sudden doing work from home that they didn't think they could ever do. And they're in the midst of it. So they're learning it. They're taking a crash course, right? Because odds are students are not going to be back in school, folks. And that's the reality of the astrology that I'm looking at. And if I were in the government, that would be my suggestion to wait. Because Jupiter conjunct Pluto represents a time of major transformation. Sweeping changes are made. But these sweeping changes should be made for the better, to make your life better, richer, or more fuller for your future. Now, we are already aware of a lot of things in our world that weren't working. Systems that were old, that were broken down, right? Outdated ways of thinking and doing business. Lots of outdated structures. And that's what this is about. This is not to take away that this isn't, you know, very difficult. Change is never easy. And I I recognize that. But I also want to point out some good things. It seems as though the the universe just threw us all out into the ocean and we're in the waters and we're drowning. But there's lifeboats out there. There's preservers that the universe also gave us. We have Mars conjunct Jupiter coming up. This happens before the 20th. This happens on the 17th of March. This is beneficial action. This is a time of good luck. I can give you the degrees because what you want to do, if you're new here, you want to comment your stuff below and find out. Find out when Mars gets conjunct Jupiter, this is going to roughly be around, like I said, on the 17th. So at that time, the degrees of that exact conjunction, like the 22nd roughly, it begins, a two degree orb begins on the 17th. And so that's going to be like around 20 degrees, okay? 20 degrees of Capricorn. Now, the beautiful thing about that mark is that 20 degrees Capricorn, at the opposing side of it was an eclipse that happened last year. Actually, it was in January, the beginning of, the beginning of this year. And it was at 20 degrees of Cancer. So for Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Rising, 20 degrees Cancer is in your th- third house, The opposite of your third house is your ninth house. This is where beneficial action, Jupiter conjunct Mars, is happening. Okay? So it's like I said, we were given a set of problems, but we were also given some other tools, helpful things. To find out how this will affect you, typically by the 17th, you will know. Even if you know nothing about astrology, something will occur if you've got something squaring that angle. So a square to 20 degrees Capricorn would be 20 degrees in either Aries or Libra. A square to 20 degrees Cancer is either something in 20 degrees Aries or Libra. It's the same thing. This is all the four cardinal signs make the cross, the cardinal cross, the four signs, Cancer, Capricorn, Aries, Libra. At 20 degrees Capricorn, if you have something at 20 degrees in either Taurus or Virgo, a grand earth trine. If you only have one trine, then it's just a trine, but it's a benefit. So for you, Taurus Ascendant, Taurus rising, Taurus is in your first house. So your Virgo energy is going to be likely in your fifth house. This is your children, things that you've created, which can also be artsy things, right? Not just your children. It's romance. It's how we take a risk in the world, gambling, If you've got something there at that 20 degrees, might be a good time to go play the lottery. Honestly, no joke, especially if you've got something at 20 degrees in Taurus. I know people, this is a good, like I'm looking at someone's midheaven right now. They have their Taurus. This is not a, this, the chart I'm looking at right now is an earth rising sign, by the way. It's Virgo rising. So if anybody listening knows somebody who's got a Virgo rising, tell them to check their chart to see if they've got something around 20 degrees. This person has their midheaven at 20 degrees. Now, also recognize that at that time, Venus is also in Taurus. So we could have a lot of benefits coming our way to help through these times. But just so you all know, this is what 2020 is going to look like. This is what I was waiting to find out, to find out exactly what was it going to be. We knew it was going to be big. We knew it was going to be widespread, that it would be global. But, you know, when you talk about it, a global thing, and then you bring it down in the micro of your life, but yet it was global. How will that affect you, right? So it was like, 
waiting to see, and this is it. And there's a part of me, oddly enough, I don't want to say happy, but feels content in some strange way because this anxiety over what is it going to be? What is it going to be? What is it going to be? This is it. This is it. This is it. And so we'll see what, see what comes of it, right? What are the what are the consequences? What are, you know, the things that are produced from this? There should be so much good, so many advancements for humanity because of what we're experiencing right now, okay? And change is never easy. And it always happens with the dismantling of something because of something like this that occurs. And people realize, oh, well, we got to do this, right? And so hold on to the faith and the belief of the long term for the betterment for all of us because it's a real thing. This is supposed to happen. We are right where we where we're supposed to be. So for Taurus Ascendant, Taurus Rising, this is all about your beliefs in your third house. This is all about the thinking and how you think. This is all about understand you may have to step up and start speaking. And you may have to start showing ways in which we can do things because Venus is your ruler. Venus goes out of bounds this month too. I forgot to mention that. Not this month, but in April, which is another tool from the universe to help us cope with this. Venus is abundance. Venus is prosperity. Venus is love. Venus is what I value. So if Venus, Venus goes out of bounds, that means we have an abundance of that. It can go to the extreme. So keep an, keep an eye on that, right? Your desire factor, right? Like how much chocolate can I eat today? right? How much drinking and alcohol can I have? Watch out, my lighting's getting all kind of crazy on me. Oh, actually, I could probably think that's kind of better. So keep in mind the dates of April 3rd to June 2nd. Two months Venus is out of bounds. I, I mean, we're having, between 2019 and 2020, there are things energetically that are not normal. They're very much out of the ordinary, okay? And being aware of these unique cycles means something's happening on a large scale for all of us. And this is the beginning of the sweeping change. Jupiter conjunct Pluto. This is a big deal. This is all your Capricorn energy, Taurus, okay? If I already didn't mention it to you, your Capricorn is in your ninth house. Now, what happens when we have Jupiter and Pluto together? By the way, again, on the 20th, Jupiter and Pluto. This is about a self-betterment how things are going to be done for the better, but on an individual scale as well as on a global scale. Jupiter and Pluto together, Pluto is our power. So Jupiter will expand power. Now, as we think about this on a macro level, we understand what that could be. Because an abuse of this would be money. People doing things where they can they themselves financially get ahead by taking advantage of other people's disadvantages, right? That's not the route we're going, folks. Otherwise, you'll have to redo your life you know, in this particular life. Not, not identically, but experiences and setups will be the same, right? You, you want to do things in a way where you can experience it once and learn from it. Because if you don't, you get to experience it again, okay? This is how this works, all right? So what we want is for our actions to speak, right? To speak in a way where we understand we are in this together, Jupiter conjunct Pluto is all about power. You will feel very empowered. Just like Jupiter conjunct uh, uh, Mars, it's about ego, okay? It is about beneficial action and good luck, but it's also about a rise in the ego because that's what Mars is. Mars is also the military or the soldier, but when you, you know, match it up with Jupiter, it's not, it becomes more than just one soldier, right? Well, that's pretty logical, but the astrology supports it. Jupiter conjunct Pluto. Keep in mind that your actions right now reflect who you are as a human being. Bottom line. End of story. Now, let's talk about Mars conjunct Pluto. This also happens around the 20th of March, okay? I know, right? These dates, March 20th, it's a big deal. March 20th, March 21st, March 22nd. Depending upon your chart, depending upon degrees of your personal planets, you may have sweet trines coming. You may have big ass squares coming. I would need to know your digits so you comment below your numbers. I will help you out. That, I will help you out. That is what I'm here for. That light that keeps popping off is my computer screen. I'm using it as, as the ambient light for the video and it works better, or at least I think it does. Now, I want you to be aware of what happens when Mars gets conjunct Pluto. What I'm doing right now is I'm describing the energy, okay? 
Now, this is again happening around 20 degrees of Capricorn, 21, 22, 23. If I already didn't say this, by March 22nd, we have a tightening of all these planets. We have Pallas Athena, who is the divine. Um, Pallas Athena is in charge. She is the, like the general, okay? She's smart. She's, she's the strategist. She's at 22 degrees in Capricorn. We have Mars, 2352 Capricorn. Jupiter, 2302 Capricorn. Pluto, 2442 Capricorn. Saturn, 2959 Capricorn. And that day, Saturn will actually transit into Aquarian energy. Aquarius energy represents the people, right? Saturn represents restrictions, borders. How do I contain something? I'll do another video about that, probably a general video with Miss A. We'll, we will address that a little bit more deeper, okay? But I think having um, a little window into the future right now of what's going to be company, what's going to be coming up and understanding the astrology around it helps you to really to navigate and be like, well, okay, this is what these planets express at this time. So it makes sense that as man as it comes, energies come, the rays come down to man in his mind and the way he allows it to express, yes, obviously you might see more military. Now that's not to go crazy and be like, oh my God, it's martial law, it's insane. No. It's to keep order, all right? This is to sustain a sense of order within the chaos. This is needed, people, okay? Now, Pluto conjunct Mars, all right? Taking control, which means you and your life will feel like, I have to take control of this. I have to do something. All right, but just think things through, okay? Don't do anything rash. And make sure that you're thinking about the best for everybody involved because there will be a tendency when Mars gets touches that Plutonian energy, all right? Pluto, Mars is the ego, is the self, is the body. I can do it. I want this, right? I will take credit. Understand Pluto is about, you know what? If you do that, it's going to come out bad. Pluto demands that you do what you're doing for the best for all involved. So even if it's, if it's a temporary, ooh, I got this and I'm ahead of everybody else, don't do it. Don't do it. Letting you know right? I'm giving you the words right now. I'm trying to share this knowledge with you because this is vital because that is what I was born to do at this time, right? Pluto conjunct Mars gives us the ability to handle heavy work. It was this, this energy was to handle work that comes through that demands great major changes. Your work will be a, will be part of creating major changes and Jupiter and Pluto and Mars together means sweeping changes, but the ability to handle the sweeping changes. We got this. Don't feed the fear, whatever you do. Don't feed the fear. It's the worst thing you can do. You feed what you want to grow, right? Right. You're not out in the guard watering the goddamn weeds. No, you're out in the yard feeding the tomato plant, right? It's that simple. Keep it simple. Stay focused. Mars has a tendency to be so full of the ego. All right? Just remember, I can't say this m enough. The best for all involved. And I have to tell myself this too. It's not G standing here being like, hey, man, this is what you need to be doing. No. When I do these videos, this is as much as a reminder for myself as it is for anybody else. But it really, it helps me. And by helping myself and putting it on here, you can help others. So if you have questions, remember, I am here. All right? If there's a delay in my response, it's because I'm swamped. But it doesn't mean you're forgotten. And if I need a reminder, if you need to comment back in, don't feel like you're being, you know, like, like, like it's annoying or that it's too much. No, it's reminders, right? And I have to stick to the comments under the videos. It's the only way to keep it organized. I've got people who try to use, who try to, you know, do other avenues of, of, of communicating. And what you got to realize is that when you're dealing with different platforms, that's how I'm going to lose people. If I keep you off channeling through one platform, then I can do one at a time from this one spout. It's like running back between multiple faucets with bucket. doesn't make any sense. Channel it all to come under the one spout because it's just one person. Miss A's got her own work she's got to do right now, okay? And that's turned her world upside down, right? Taurus, these changes, the things we're experiencing, this is 2020. It is the power of your thinking, your third house, the power of your belief, your ninth house. Focus on sharing light. 
focus on taking your skill set and figuring out how you can use it for the good of all involved. If you don't know, put your stuff down below. I will help you to figure that out. You can have abundance coming your way. You can have stress coming your way. It all has to do with what your chart looks like. Um, Miss A and I have put together a small, quick video to give an, a general overview of COVID-19. It's not going away, okay? That's the reality of it. That's the short term of it. But we are given respites from it, and then it will come back. So there, this is this is all changing like they're telling you, right? That's like the news is what they're saying. But just remember, as long as Mercury is in Pisces, which it is all the way until April, the beginning of April, Mercury's in Pisces, communication can be unclear, can be slowed, can be fuzzy, not very clear at all, because it's Mercury going through the Piscean murky ass waters. So keep that in mind in all your decisions. Go to those who you trust, who you believe in. Uh, one of the things I want to put a warning flag up on is that during the time when we have Jupiter conjunct Pluto, it is, time, it is a time in our history. It is a time where people with their conversion experiences is what I have written down. It expedites healing because there is this deeply powerful. It goes beyond our physical body. So you will have people who will be like, okay, they're going to be, people are going to be very vulnerable and they're going to want to latch onto a belief of some sort. Okay. I'm not trying to take advantage of that. Um, but what I want folks to do is to be clear thinking and to be rational and to not make any decisions until you've talked to trusted advisors. That's all I'm recommending. And I'm not saying those trust advisors are me. All I'm saying is in your life, you know those, who those people are, okay? And that is what I'm asking you to do. We got this though. Remember, the universe has thrown problems at us, but it's also thrown us the tools. The trick is, can we find the toolbox? Can we open it? Because a lot of these tools are tools that we had when we were younger. And now you're like, oh, shit. I used to do that all the time. Yes. It's time to begin, metaphysicians. It is time to start practicing working with the energy. Start using it again. Start using it in ways that you used to do. If you don't know anything about any of that, you're going to find out. Okay? Because this is a time when it's time to go within, time to dig deep, time to go beyond the 3D realm. Ask for help. People are praying. But there are also others using astrology is being a metaphysician. You're understanding the frequencies and the cycles of the times. Okay? You got any questions? Comment down below. I hope this has given you some light upon your path, Taurus, Ascendant, Taurus, Rising. You got this. We got this.